Aloha and welcome to Knitted Paradise, where the needles are clicking and the yarn is squishy. My name is Lucia and you can find me online as Pearl of the Pacific. Today is December 6th and it's a Sunday. And this is episode 100. Woo! Made it all the way to 100. Never thought I'd be here, but here I am. So, hello everyone. Welcome to my knitting podcast. And I have a lot of things to share with you today. Um, so most of them are knitting related and some of them are not. All right, so let's get started with Blow the Conch Shell. We had the fall colors knit along for October and November and I pulled for some prizes. And number 69, who is Hot Pink Socks, won some uh, yarn. So I'm going to, I actually already have her address. So. Stephanie, I will be talking to you and getting you some pretty yarn. And the winner of the pattern, so any pattern of my collection, um, of your choice, just let me know which one you want, was number 81, which is, I can't pronounce this, Marsha, it's Marsh and then A-T-F, so M-A-R-S-H-A-T-F number 81 in the thread, please get in contact with me and let me know which pattern of mine you would like and I will happily gift that to you. So, yay! So that was the prize drawing and um, let's see what else I have on my list of announcements. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who commented so nicely on my last podcast and clicked the like button. I got like 30 likes. It was really awesome. It made me feel really good. So thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, please continue to post comments or questions or anything you'd like to say. That'd be awesome. Yay! Uh, the other thing I, I've come across lately is on Instagram, there's a hashtag going around called Get Your Yarn Wishes Granted. And you might see it's a bunch of words with like some green says like fun idea, get your wish granted or something like that. You, if you are on Instagram and you follow most yarn people, then you probably have seen it. And I posted one. Um, I saw it going around and so I was, um, if you click on the hashtag, it'll show you all the people who have hashtag their photo. I mean, that's kind of the point of the hashtag. Um, and so I was looking around for yarn wishes to grant it, grant, and I found someone who wanted some mini kit skeins, so I made some mini skeins, some more mini skeins, I had a whole bunch of, um, but I made some more yesterday, and I had fun going through my scraps, and getting all sorts of colors, and sizes, and, or rather weights, not, they're all sock weight, um, but like, some are 9 grams, and some are less. I think nine grams is the top, really. Um, so that was really fun. I filled an entire envelope full of mini skeins that I will send out. So, hey for that. And then um, I found, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if anyone would be so bold as to ask for a pair of knit socks. I think that would be hilarious. And I'm like, I could knit someone a pair of knit socks. Lo and behold, someone wanted a pair of knit socks. So someone's getting a pair of knit socks. Yes. So that was really fun. And then I posted what I would like, which was, um, I have a bunch of like wish list yarn that I would like to knit with eventually. And so I just kind of put it out there of like, Hey, if anyone has these yarns that they want to send me, let me know. I'd be happily, I would happily take those out of your stash. So I'm going to get a couple skeins of yarn off my wish list, which is really awesome. Yay. Um, also, another announcement is that I've changed location. If you hadn't noticed already, <laughs> you probably had. I am now in the other room, which sometimes we call the bird room, and or the library. We have a bunch of bookcases in here. Um, the bird is actually behind the camera. I have tried to cover her up, but she's being very loud right now. So I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to see. We're going to try this out. I may have to not record in here anymore. But um, I've kind of been working on this corner, making it kind of special. 
and these are all my knitting books back here and then these are some of my pattern books here um, and I keep my needles in one of I think this one and some other things so you can see the hobbits up here and so yeah and then I brought some a candle and I made this bunting which I'll talk about a little later and yeah so I put some little decorations in here and I thought it'd be fun. So this is kind of my new little knitting corner and I thought it'd be fun to share it with you all. Okay, so that's it for announcements. We have some on the islands. I knit some things this week. I did, as I usually do, you know, that's how it goes. This is a knitting podcast after all. Um, I worked on the Contillo socks by Tina Koo out of Sophie's Toes in uh, their Merino sock base in uh, Midnight Sky. That's it. And that's kind of what the pattern looks like. Ding, ding. It kind of just, it's a cable thing that, oops, wrong way, that grows as you go up the sock. And I turn the heel, and I think that's all I've done on this one. And then the other one actually got a bunch of attention the other night. So I did instead of going back and forth, I decided to just keep going on this one for a while. And it's almost ready for a cuff. I want to um, at least get the cable to the other end so it goes across the entire top of the foot. And then probably just continue that ribbing up for a while. And... I'll probably work on this one today just to get them kind of at the same point, but ta-da! So I'm really enjoying these, and these are going to a friend of mine when they're done. And I'll see him in a couple weeks, so that's my deadline. <laughs> so I kind of need to finish those. Um, all right, the other thing... Oh, I didn't bring any here. My shawl design. I worked a little bit on that. Not a whole lot, so... I forgot to bring that in there. I thought it was so prepared. Not quite. Oh, go over there. Oh, it didn't work so well. Oh, well. The other thing that I started yesterday was the LOM shawl by Judy Marbles. And I'm knitting this for the Harry Potter knit along, the December challenge. And you have to, there's no yardage requirement, but it has to be something that's wearable and use two different yarns. So I showed you last week this yarn, which was the O-Loops um, in their sock base. Not their sock base, their sport weight base. And then um, I was looking for another one, and I found it. It's absolutely perfect. Ta-da! It's a skein of... It's not It's not white weight. It's like a natural... And it's, um, it's, a, very, it's a sport weight, and it's very similar. And... I just happened to find it in my stash via a friend of mine. So thank you very much. It is absolutely perfect. I like that it's, um, I liked the, the blue or the turquoise that I had, but it was just too much. This really tones it down and complements it well. So that this, you actually see the variegatedness of this. And this isn't so, this is just kind of tones it down, which is perfect. And they're like the same kind of twist. The, I mean, they might even be the same base for all I know. Anyway, I love it, and it's going very quickly. The spine on this is really cool. It's just a triangular-shaped shawl, but the spine is very cool. And um, then there's a whole bunch of... If you're wondering where the other yarn comes in. The um, So you do the stockinette portion for a while, and then there's the two-color portion, and then there's um, various borders that you can choose from. So we'll see how that goes when I get there. So I just keep repeating that until there's no like, it's weird because there's no um, requirement of how long I have to knit. It's just like knit until you are done with the second half portion. So, oh well, <laughs> we'll see. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, the other thing, oh, that's, that's the other thing that's on the island. Set sail was this bunting that I finished, which was very, very quick. And this I knit out of the um, the LGF Surrey yarn flight that I got at um, Vogue Knitting Live. 
and it comes with six of these little cup things of little tastings of yarn. I did look up uh, what a wine flight is and that's where the idea came from. And it's just little um, like wine tastings. And so this is a yarn tasting and she so nicely packaged it up. And so they're, they're, each one has the different kind of yarn. And uh, this one that's right ooh, over here, this gold one, is the Surrey Ultimate. It's a three pie fingering um, and it's 100% Surrey Alpaca. So this just happens to be what that one is. And I knit, I got this for review, so I'll, I won't do a full review today because I have a bunch of other things to talk about, but um, I wanted to share that with you guys. And this is the, so LGF series, and she dyes all of these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And she owns the, um, the alpacas, so she does all of that herself, and which I thought was really cool that it's, she owns the alpacas. I, I don't think she's, um, she gets it milled, like processed and spun and stuff like that. And then she dyes it, which I just think is really cool. And so these are all of the colors available. And there's some picture, or there's a picture of one of her alpacas. And those are all the bases available. And it's really cool. So I will share more about that at a later date. Oh, <laughs> my husband's in here, let the bird out. <laughs> so now she's flying around. An attempt to quiet her down, we're letting her out. Don't worry, the cat has been put away. So I had fun knitting up these. I knit them at different um, uh, needle sizes because there's all the way from, sorry, I'm, everything's backward. This is a lace weight and this is like a, a DK or almost a worsted. And they're all different bases. So there's also a dark blue one hiding behind my head here. I tried to like move them away from my head, but you know big head and stuff in the way. So I really had fun doing that. And that's, um, I would planned on doing that for a while. And I just, this week I was like, you know what, I'm going to move the location. I'm going to knit that bunting and just kind of as a nice way to test each yarn. So I have, I had fun and I will tell you about all the yarns at a later date, but that's the yarn bunting that I finished this week. And from the mainland, I got an order from No Makers, and I got a shirt. Ta-da! No made and nerd flavored. I think it's awesome. And I got a calendar, one of her calendars. There it is. Ta-da! 2016 calendar of yarny goodness. So I'm very excited about this. And the, um, I was testing, or is not testing, I was looking at what, um, what kind of pictures she puts in here? I mean, her photography is great anyway, so. And this is the one she had on the website as like the preview. I was like, hmm, yarn plus Lego. Sounds good. Goes well in this house. So I was really happy with that and I love it. And let me show you. This is one of my favorites was all her minis for April. That was really pretty. And the obligatory July shot, of course, because my birthday month. I'm happy with this one. It did well. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> As we were talking about last time about uh, being offended by bad pictures in your birthday month. I like this one. I like watermelon. I like those colors. And it's just like the, the tweediness of it just captures watermelon. Because you have the seeds is the little tweeds. They're not, they're not tweeds. They're little naps. No, they're not. They're neps. Neps of Tweety goodness. Anyway, so I'm really excited about this calendar, and I won't show you all the months because that's just boring. Or is another one? Oh, this one is another hilarious one for December. It's milk and cookies for Santa. Says, Dear Santa, I want all the Legos. Enjoy the milk and cookies. Dear Santa, I'll take all the Legos too. So, ta-da! I'm keeping that up here with my yarny books for next month, I guess, because now it's December. <laughs> so one of those will, because um, I also have my one from Joanna here, 
So one of them will go to work and one of them will stay here for reference. Ta-da! So that was what I got in the mail. Yeah, I'm still waiting for another package um, of yarny goodness, but it hasn't come yet. So we'll have to see that next week. Um, let's see, flora and fauna. I had some people ask me some questions. Um, click over to here. Heather M12 was um, wanting to know, she really liked the color knit alongs that I did when I first started podcasting. I was wondering if we could do those again. And I say, yes, let's do them. So December's kind of already started. So maybe we'll do one January, February. And I will think of some colors for that. And if you have any suggestions, let me know. I was kind of thinking blue and white. Those kind of seem wintry to me. So maybe we'll do that. If you have a better suggestion, let me know. So let's do blue and white for now, um, for January and February. So anything you knit in blue and white, and blue and or white, let me know if that sounds good to you. And the other question was kind of related to um, Yonder Woman was asking about how I um, found my love for Batgirl. And it kind of happened on a whim. We, my husband and I were talking one night, and he was like, you know, we were talking about costumes for Gen Con. And he was thinking that, oh, you know, it would be fun if you did Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. And because she has red hair and things like that. And I'm like, you know, that would be kind of fun. So I started researching and then started reading and... Um, <laughs> Sorry, the bird kind of distracting. It flew over my head. And I just, I got kind of got obsessed with Batgirl. And I really like, I don't know, it's funny because when you cosplay a character, you have to, you want to understand who they are and you want to understand like what they stand for. And, you know, she fights for good and fights for justice and, um, you know, fights to help people, you know, who may not be able to help themselves or just against, you know, crazy people. And I really liked that idea. And so I went, just went, went with it. And yeah, and the costume was, looked kind of fun. I'd always wanted to do some sort of superhero costume. And I'm thinking about doing Black Widow because she also has red hair. It's, 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 there's a lot of superhero characters that have red hair. So there was a lot to pick from. But I really liked um, Batgirl, so I decided to do that. And now I'm just kind of obsessed. I did go into um, my comic book store to see if they had the next issue of Batgirl, and they didn't have it yet. So he said he would let me know. I mean, it's right down the street from where I work, so I just stopped there on the way home, and he said he didn't have it yet. So I'll have to wait, wait for the next issue of Batgirl. Um, so it's been really fun to keep on with that. And yeah, so that's kind of where it came from. It was, that was, it was really random and really spontaneous and it was kind of fun. And yeah, so that's that question. Uh, Heather M12 was also wondering, um, how did I get so involved with Lego? That came from my husband. He, um, I played with Lego as a child, like Le Lego sets and Lego bricks uh, as a child. And, um, we, we had like this random box of Lego bricks that a friend of ours gave us, um, cause he kind of, you know, outgrown them and he was sharing them with us cause he was just like the next generation older than us, my brother and I. And so we played with those and there was a lot of space police in there. I just remember space police, a lot of like neon see-through yellow and space police. So there must have been quite a few space police sets in there. And we had a great time with that. And the, it, it wasn't something that I was, like, obsessed with. It was just kind of something that, oh, this is kind of fun. And we put together things. And, you know, it was a very small box of Lego, actually. And then, like, when I um, started dating my husband, he, he also played with Lego as a child. And then, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. The cat got out and <laughs> we had to rescue it. 
So the, we put the cat away, the birds away. Nothing happened. We're all good. But that was... The cat is getting better at opening doors. Not a good thing. Anyway, back to Lego. So my, my husband was the one who was really into Lego. And I guess... A, the, the thing about Lego, so a lot, most people, a lot of people play with Lego sets as a child and, um, then they go through like the, the dark ages where they're like, I'm too cool for Lego. And then some people come back to it when they're adults and they're like, I'm, Lego is cool. I want to play with Lego. And they become, you know, what's called an adult fan of Lego. And so he was super into Lego when we met and that's kind of how I fell into it. And, yeah, it's been kind of fun. No, Pan, the bird went away. He's now looking for the bird. <laughs> no, bird's, bird's back in her cage. So, speaking of Lego, I have some Lego to show you. Yes, I do. So, this week, the, um, I'll just show it to you. Oh yes, I have a Lego TARDIS. I have two Lego TARDISes now, actually. So this is the Lego TARDIS that came out this week um, from Lego. And this is the other one that my husband built me for my birthday a few years ago. And so yeah, he did a really good job, I think, with what was available. Um, they created some specialty pieces for this. So obviously they weren't available back then. So I'm really happy with that one. And so this is the TARDIS and where's the, oh, they're on, you can open it up. So you take the top off and then you flip these things up and then you can open it Ta -da! and there's the 11th doctor. So, and then there's a console part, which I will show you in a minute, but that's the TARDIS. So you can open it up, which I think is really fun. And it plugs into the console, which is over here. And it goes here. I had slightly taken it apart to pack it up. But so this is the inner the inner console. So you've got the, the six-sided inner part. And then it plugs in here so that you can seamlessly walk in the front doors and walk into the inner console, which is really fun. So that was uh, super cool to put together. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. And um, I did it on my lunch break at work because it came out, um, came out December 1st, which is actually my husband's birthday. So it came out on my husband's birthday. He didn't work that day. Um, so he got it for me the next day. And then I built it at work the following day. Because that's when I had time. And I posted a picture on Instagram. I'm like, this is what normal adults do on their lunch break, right? Build Lego TARDIS sets. I thought it was really fun. So, ta So I built that. And it also comes with, so it comes with the 11th Doctor. And it also comes with... The twelfth Doctor in the eleventh Doctor's second outfit. So really, it's two. Um, so it's Peter Capaldi in Matt Smith's um, second outfit of the long purple coat, and Clara in her Christmas episode. So it's the kind of the regeneration episode. Um, what you call it? Outfit. And then it comes with. A weeping angel and two Daleks one of which is wearing a fez at the moment because that's where I chose to put it <laughs> doesn't come with a fez <laughs> I just couldn't get Matt Smith to hold it and stand in the TARDIS at the same time and so I just put it on here to keep it from falling so ding 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 or rather pew, pew, pew. exterminate that's really what I should be doing I know, Pan, you're very interested. And then um, the other thing that my husband got me a little while ago was one of the Dimensions expansion kits. We don't actually have Lego Dimensions. We just got the expansion kit because, um, check this out. 
Ta-da! So this is Pierre Capaldi in his, like, his outfit with the long um, coat and the red on the inside. And then a mini TARDIS and a canine, which I just think is so cool. I've seen lots of versions of canine out of Lego. And it actually lends itself quite well. I think the best part about this canine is the head actually, like, full articulation, which is pretty cool, considering it's a dog made out of Lego, but anyway, I just thought that was super cool. So that is my, my Lego and Doctor Who for the week. I have been keeping, I actually got all caught up with Doctor Who over Thanksgiving break, which was kind of fun, and I watched the season finale last night. Still not sure how I felt about it, so don't ask me yet. I thought it was a good season as a, like, season finale. I thought it was good. Um, I'm not sure how I felt about it, but I think it, like, it answered a lot of questions and, um, showing you how this goes back together and such. So, I thought it was good. They closed up some things. They also, um, dropped a lot of hints at possible other things and, um, like caused some new questions and I won't spoil it for you if you haven't watched it but the answer to some questions posed some new questions and I'm like I don't know how I feel about those so we'll see um I'm excited to see the Christmas special um because River Song comes back I like River Song so that'll be fun and yeah this is a lot shorter of an episode than I thought it would be. I, I was making my show notes yesterday and they looked a lot longer. <laughs> oh well. So that's it for this week. Uh, I won't cause too much rambling here. I think I've rambled enough. So I hope you all have a good week and happy knitting. And yeah, I look forward to your comments um, or questions or whatever. So yay! I look forward to interacting with you on any sort of social media. So that's really what it is. All right. Have a good week. Bye.